I had audio troubles in this first clip, so I'm going to voice over. This was just me explaining how the one end of the for the rafters for my lean-to are basically framed the same way as the post and header system for a pole barn. So it's same same setup. I got my 4x6 post with a 2x12 header, and then I, I plumbed them up and braced them so they're all perfectly lined up. And then I'll get started by laying out my first rafter, cut that rafter, and use that as a template for the rest of my rafters. So here's my here's my rafter. So you can see that's where I'm going to cut my truss tail off, and the rafter is actually going to sit in the same plane as the rest of the truss. So the truss will just continue, it'll hit the rafter, it'll, the slope will come up a little bit and finish off the rest of the way down. And I'll probably run a ledger board down my header here for all these rafters to sit on. So here's where my rafter is sitting on the header. Well, it will be. It's off the edge right now, but it's going to end up sitting right here, right tight to the post. So what I have to do is cut a notch right here, all the way across, and then it's going to catch. It's going to catch the front of the header here. So that'll all get notched out. That'll get notched out here, and it'll sit nice and flush on both the inside and outside header. So, I'm just going to mark that. I'm going to mark it here. Oops, mark it right there. And then I'll connect that line and cut out that uh, that bird's mouth. So here's another look from the outside. That's where my truss is going to get cut off flush. It's the top corner of my rafter right there. And then what I need to do is trim that rafter to here so this will get cut off and it'll sit flat against the header. So ideally I should also be able to measure out for my fascia, mark a plumb line there, and I can cut that off and use that as my template. And each one, if I cut the same, should be identical distance from the outside header to the back of the fascia board. I'm also, if, we, if I use a 2x6 fascia, which I'm going to, I'll have to cut a little off the bottom of that too. It'll be a little too wide. Looks like I might have to shave just a tiny bit there on that uh, bottom of that bird's mouth because up there I could go back just a hair to also. I just have a block screwed to it for now to hold it until I can run a ledger board. And there's a good look at the, the bird's mouth. That block below it is just temporary. I'm laying out the top of this header just like I did on the rest of the pole barn. Two foot on centers. And I'm gonna extend one of those lines down inside the header. And on both sides. That's where these 
truss blocks are going to go, or in this case, I guess rafter blocks, they'll go right down in between the header to nail the rafter to. Well, I cut one rafter. I got it just right. Now I'm going to use that one as my template, and I'm going to trace it out on all the rest of my rafter boards, which are two by eight, and I'll cut all those out. I cut the truss ends off on about a third of the trusses so far. I'm just going to do about a third tonight is my, my plan. I got my header, top of my header all laid out, two foot centers, so it's all set to go. And I still got the same fly bothering me as earlier. If they put a lot of circular saws, you can get a rip fence for them, but mine don't have one handy, so I just screwed a block of wood. There was two holes in the bottom plate, so it looked like this right. So and the reason why I did this was I wanted that same angle as my rafters that they can rest on. So this will be the ledger board. Well I got all my rafters up except for that last one there. So all I did was um, run my ledger board, I don't know if you can see it up there. So there's my ledger board up there. I cut it on a little angle to match the pitch I got. And then on this end, I notched the bird's mouth. And I'll put uh, some two by six truss blocks up in there. <clears throat> secure them down better. They're just sitting up there for now. So I'm going to do that and then put the face shaft on the sun and I can start sheeting it. So I hit myself with the hammer yesterday. Hmm. That is my template. Lay out all my headers. Still got the same fly bothering me as earlier. God dang it. <laughs>